Hi, I'm KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scoff, and I want to tell you about something that is brand new coming to the National Weather Service for Northwest Arkansas and the Eastern Oklahoma area. That's the Tulsa National Weather Service, and it's called Impact Based Storm Warnings. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what these impact based storm warnings are, what the new format is for the wording, but this has been an experiment that the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, has been doing for about a year and a half, especially in central as well as uh, the northern sections of the U.S. at the Central Region National Weather Service offices. Now they have expanded that program and one of the test sites for the impact based storm warnings is the Tulsa National Weather Service and I'm a big fan of them and you'll see why you'll like them as well. So first of all I want to show you a website and this is uh, weather.gov forward slash impacts and this is an example of the impact based warning tag so you will notice first of all that there will be a, a tornado tag in association with this it'll either be if the tornado has been radar indicated or if the tornado has been observed meaning someone has spotted a tornado local law enforcement a uh, uh, well-trained and uh, qualified storm spotter there's also the tornado damage threat tag. That'll let you know exactly what this tornado is expected to bring. You know, not all tornadoes are created equal. And then finally, with severe thunderstorm warnings, sometimes a tornado is possible, but they have not issued a tornado warning um, because they're just a little bit of uncertainty. And that gives a tag where the tornado is possible. I'm going to scroll down here and show you some of the examples. So here's an example of a storm that is tornado worn, very impressive supercell. Uh, notice that uh, we have a tornado warning that's been issued with the polygon warning. Here's the example of the wording. You'll notice that it gives the hazard, the source, and the impact. The red box uh, shaded area is the new wording with the impact based storm warnings. It's very easy to identify and to quickly uh, pick out the most important information of this warning after the time and the location and where the storm is moving along with the speed of the movement then you can see that hazard source and impact and then at the very bottom you'll notice that it has tornado which is either radar indicated or confirmed and it also gives the maximum hail size now I'm going to scroll down a little bit more and show you a catastrophic tornado because not all tornadoes are created equal and here's one that might really get your attention if you hear this on the weather radio hazard damaging tornado the source emergency management confirmed tornado and uh, here's the impact you hear this on the weather radio you are in a life-threatening situation so it talks about the flying debris maybe deadly uh, also businesses vehicles uh, complete destruction is possible so this is a heavily worded and uh, uh, definitely an enhanced tornado warning also you'll notice on the observed tornado it gives a uh, the tornado tag observed and the damage threat catastrophic along with the maximum hail size that's expected. And when we look at tornado uh, possible, this is under a severe thunderstorm warning. It has a hazard, it has a source, but then you scroll down a little bit more and it says tornado is possible. So that's exactly what the uh, new wording will bring. It brings a tornado tag, it also has the uh, source and the impact, the tornado damage threat tag, it could be considerable, it could be catastrophic or if there's no tornado uh, in association with the storm, but there could be, they have the tornado possible tag. So out of all this, uh, this is starting March 25th, 2014 for the Tulsa National Weather Service, and the new warnings will make it easy to identify the most valuable info, to highlight the most dangerous storms, and to be able to prioritize warnings by the area and risk. And the goals of this new warning system for the uh, general public is to identify the urgency of the situation. It just makes it very important uh, when you quickly react to an oncoming tornado, especially if it's a considerable or catastrophic tornado that is moving in, to be able to stress the importance of just how dangerous this tornado will be. Uh, to relay the message in terms of the impact so you know exactly what to expect with the storm to precisely communicate suggested actions also the ability to distinguish between low and high impact events because let's face it EF2 to EF5 tornadoes are definitely the rarer kind the more common are EF0 to EF1 but they don't do quite as much damage so if you want to learn more about impact based storm warnings go to weather.gov forward slash impacts. Again, I'm excited about these new 
uh, impact based storm warnings. You don't have to change anything. You'll just hear the new wording on the National Weather Radio broadcast along with the different uh, severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings that are issued. I do want to mention that we could be seeing them firsthand on Thursday evening. The possibility of severe weather does exist as a big weather system moves in. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation on impact-based storm warnings. I think you'll become a big fan of them and uh, really end up liking them.